Hey everybody, today I'm going to be creating this project using the supplies from the Mixed Media Inspired subscription. I've already gessoed my 4x4 canvas board with black gesso, and now I'm mixing TCW stencil butter in white with a few different colors of Lindy's Magicals. And those colors will be listed in the description below along with all the other products I'm using in this video. So I'm mixing together the stencil butter and the Lindy's Magicals with my palette knife until I have that color completely incorporated. And then I'm going to scoop it up with my palette knife and begin painting with my palette knife and the stencil butter. So all I'm doing is grabbing a scoop of this colored stencil butter and then applying it onto my canvas board in a bit of a swirled pattern to create loose abstract petals. Now this is quite thick on my palette knife so you can see there's texture in all of the petals and that's what I'm wanting it to be. I'm wanting it to be more of an abstract and pastel painting with lots of texture and movement within all the flowers. And after I have everything 100% dry, I'm going back in with some loose powder and a wet brush to add some coloring and detail in the center of the petals and also a little bit of dimension and sparkle because Lindy's Magicals do have mica powder in them. And I'm going to do the exact same step for both colors of the flowers, both the purple and the pink. And again, just some loose powder on my craft sheet and a wet brush. If you want to blend it out more, you could also just use your finger to soften that color. And then I'm going to leave these to dry 100% before I move on to putting my next layer on. Now I've mixed up a third color of stencil butter, once again with Lindy's Magicals, and this time I'm creating leaves. So instead of the traditional swirl that I did to make the petals, this time I'm creating more of a teardrop shape for leaves. And I'm putting these leaves in areas that have more of an empty space, but I'm also taking care to have some of them overlap the petals to create dimension and interest in this piece. And then I'm laying it dry and doing the exact same step of using the dry powder and a wet brush to add dimension in each of the leaves. And I'm going to do this on all of the leaves and then leave it to dry. After everything's dry, I'm grabbing my Dina Wiki Media Media Tool, which is a silicone tool, and dipping it directly into the jar of stencil butter. And then I'm using this to create dots in the center of the flowers. And then I'm going to let this dry once again. You could stop at this point with a beautiful textured painting, or you can continue on with collage as I'm doing here. I'm using three letters from the Ideology Silver Stencil Chips and I'm trimming them down with my tonic micro snips just to make them a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to glue everything down with Distress Collage Medium in the squeeze bottle. You could also use Distress Collage Medium straight from the jar. I find it's a little easier when I'm doing collage like this. If I use the bottle that has the fine detailed nib on the end, it keeps everything really neat and I can control exactly where the glue goes with no extra brushes or extra glue in places that I do not want. You may have noticed that I am allowing the J and the Y to hang over the edge of the 4x4 canvas. This is simply an artistic choice. You could, of course, keep your letters straight and within the borders of your canvas. Next, I'm using a sticker from the Ideology sticker pack that says Choose. And I'm filling in each of these chipboard letter pieces with Stickles Glitter Glue. And I'm making sure they're completely full because as this dries, the glitter will be left and the glue will go away. Now, as it was drying, it did activate and mix a little bit with the Magicals underneath. So you will see in a second when it's 100% dry that it actually changed the color of the glitter, which I really like. But if this bothered you, you could put down a layer of glue first and then it wouldn't mess with your glitter and activate with the Magicals. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to let YouTube know you want to see more of our mixed media videos in the future.